Well, I've just received the brand new hard flexor for the new Rotofell Explorer binding. This is the hard flexor, this is the standard flexor, and this is the flat plate. This system comes with an all-around flex that can be exchanged to Rotofeller's hard flex for more control when skiing downhill. So far this winter I've been skiing with the standard flexor and it works very, very well. I have no complaints whatsoever. You know, if, it's, if you're in the field and uh, you're wearing gloves, it might be a little fiddly to get this out. But if you have a scraper, and everybody should carry a scraper, um, this would be a useful tool to have because you can use this scraper to clear off any ice. You might be able to, you can also use it to depress this pin and then it just pops right out. Then it's pretty easy to install the flexor. You just insert the front end and then you should just be able to pop it in here with a little bit of force. If it doesn't go in, you might have to depress this a little bit. And for today's bench test, I'm going to take a set of these uh, Alpine Alaska XP boots. It's got the Explorer binding. And I'm going to take a couple bags of lentils and a sock. We're going to stuff this sock with lentils and we're going to try to create an artificial foot. So there's just a little bit of gap in here that allows you to step into the binding. As the boot leans forward, it makes contact with this bumper, and it is a pretty stiff bumper. So I'm going to pull this up, and there's virtually no engagement here. I've got about two fingers, and then as I bring it up upwards, there's quite a bit of resistance here. Let's just... Uh, that's very resistive. Let's see if we can do some kind of quantitative measurement. It's probably a good inch, inch and a half before you start feeling resistance from the bumper. So I have a, a digital scale and it'll just give me a rough idea of how much force it requires to pull it up. This little container here that's about three inches tall and I'm gonna prop the, uh, the boot up on this right about there. And then I'm going to measure how much force in pounds it takes to lift this off of this, just to raise that off of there. It's not a scientific measurement, but what it'll do is it'll give me an idea of the difference between the flex. So I'm going to reset this gauge and I'm going to apply upward, straight upward pressure. Okay, I got 11 pounds there. So let's try the very same test with just a standard flexor. Now you can just, you can see how much easier the flex is. Let's put this up on this prop right here and let's just raise it up until it just comes off. Less than four pounds of pressure. The step in is just as easy as it is with a standard flexor. Kick and glide is a little more restrictive, but certainly doable. I think I prefer this over the typical soft leather boot and cable combinations that I've skied in the past. So what about toe pinch? Let's check it out. <laughs> this actually feels pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm starting to feel a little bit like Goldilocks. This one doesn't seem too hard or too soft. Well, that's about it for this video. Just the first look at the hard flexor in my backyard. I'm looking forward to skiing this combo on a ski tour, so stay tuned. Until next time, be safe and be kind.